Welcome to Sailor Samara's Mooney Merchandise, Collections, Cosplay, and a whole lot more. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel for another Sailor Moon review. Today I have the World Uniform Operation Naru Osaka figure, and this one was an exclusive figure to anybody that bought the first five of the Inner Senshi. And luckily for me, I found out that Crunchyroll had this for order. They had it in stock, so I grabbed it immediately. I loved the fact that they made Naru because there is not a whole lot of merchandise for her at all. There is a little figure of her that you can get, and I had like a custom doll made of her once. But really, there is no merchandise for Naru at all, except for a couple, two or three little things that came out in the early 90s. So I was very eager to get this figure. I don't have any of the original uh, characters. I don't have the first five, which I figured I would get at some point. But this one being the kind of exclusive one that came out, I figured I'd better get her now before she came unavailable since she's such an obscure character to have a figure of. But this is what the box looks like. It does have the 20th anniversary logo all over it as well as the World Uniform Operation on it as well as her name. There is a Toei sticker on the box up here. And here's the top of the box. The box isn't like amazing or anything but there is a window so you can see the figure if you don't want to open it. And there's the back. But I definitely want to open mine because I want to take a better look at her because that's what it's all about for me. <laughs> I want to see what these things look like. So I'm going to open her up and take a look. She comes wrapped in all this plastic here. You got to take off. I know that the skirts come apart and the figure itself kind of comes apart. There we go. So, get an idea of how this goes down. Trying to figure out how to get her skirt off. There we go was on there <laughs> so yeah you can put her together without her skirt on <laughs> and you can see her here with just her underwear <laughs> if you're one of those that uh, want to do that we'll put her skirt back on here it's a little bit difficult to uh, get the skirt on and off at least it was for me you really gotta push it up through. And I think I got it back on there. Okay, let's get her on her stand. There we go. So here she is, and she looks pretty spectacular. I like the way these are kind of like positioned and posed. It's made to look like they're in movement. A lot of people don't like that because it makes the skirt look kind of awkward. But that's the uniqueness of this figure to me. And I'm just so happy to have a Naru figure. <laughs> she looks really cool. She looks almost like she'd be holding something. Let's take a closer look at her face here so you guys can see her paint job. Very nicely done. I do love her little eyes are painted nicely. Her mouth is painted nice. She does have the little lines on there. And her hair does have some different tones in it. It's a little bit darker in spots, a little lighter in others. And her big green bow, her signature bow, bow that she wears in her hair is there. And her front bow looks like it's kind of got different tones as well. It's kind of like darker red and lighter red in the, in the outer part of it. And then her collar is nicely painted. 
And her little suit that she's wearing, her school suit. And then her skirt. It's almost like it's, she's turning around really quickly. And her fingernails are painted as well. You can see they're like slightly painted with light pink. It's really nice. And here is her shoes. So all the girls wear these shoes that go to the school. And then the white socks are a little bit blue in spots to give like shadowing effect. It's very, very nice. And then the bottom here, of course, has the 20th anniversary logo. Like most everything has been coming out. And the symbol here is the World Uniform Operation symbol there at the bottom. And I think it does have the copyright right here on the very bottom. It does say Mega House, so these are Mega House brand. And 2015, made in China. So, but yeah, you can kind of see too here on her legs. There are different tones in every part of this figure, so... She's definitely amazing. They're a little pricey. I think I paid like $50, $60 for this figure. I can't remember exactly, but I did get her from Crunchyroll. And I have a membership, so she was a little bit on sale for me. Because of the membership. But I do think she's very much worth collecting if you want an assortment of characters. This is the first time that you really got something nice of Naru. So I think she's very much worth it. And of course if you get accessories, you might be able to put something in her hand or something on her wrist. So, very cute figure. I definitely love her. I think she looks amazing. And she's very well done. But I kind of wanted to show her to you guys. There's not a whole lot of videos of these figures that I noticed on YouTube. So you guys might be interested. If you have any more questions about her, please leave them in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye!